Hello everyone, Oliver here and today we have Graciela and we are going to discuss how she added two of my paintings. The One is the dragon, the second one is the two-dimensional tree to her art collection. But let's, I would say let's just dive in and Graciela, could you introduce yourself quickly and your interest in art? Yeah. Uh, so I am Graciela, Graciela Guerrero. Actually, I come from Mexico. I am Mexican and I've been living in Switzerland for about 14 years, always in Zurich area. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I am Switzerland and I have my family and now I, ha I got a new uh, place where uh, should become my home. Mm, nice, nice. So what's your interest in art in general? How, how did you get first interested in art? I have been always interested in art. This is uh, something I, I have from the childhood. I don't know exactly who has been really, from family perspective, my influencer uh, in, this, in this term. But for sure, I have been always interested in art since I am a child. And for me, art is something that, that it's a, like a, it nourishes. The, the, the soul of of everyone for me for myself especially it's something that it's a, like a nutrition for my heart when I see something a painting a sculpture a drawing it's a, a photograph it's it's for me really like a, it's like giving food to my to my heart to my soul mm, amazing and when did you first came to the idea to actually mm -hmm like buy a piece of art or even two i mean when we met you you wanted to have two immediately and you immediately basically knew which ones you wanted so when did this idea come to your mind that you want to own now two pieces yeah you know it it, it just came like this when when i start to see your 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 art it was just like okay i really want to have one of those and i was already in a transformational process for myself so personally and uh, I, I'm not used to buy things for myself especially if they are like expensive in my in my terms mm -hmm. uh, I was I was just thinking like why not I have been working my whole life and uh, why I cannot uh, I, I cannot buy something nice for me so to give a present for myself especially during this process and uh, I was also finding a new place mm -hmm. and I thought okay it's a good match this is this is where I start my home so my home my new home basically started with your paintings and then after I found uh, an apartment <laughs> oh, wow. yeah so uh, in this way yeah that's very interesting so <laughs> okay Let, let's go into that um I mean, most people, they are looking for art when they have an apartment. So it's very, very interesting that you actually first saw the paintings and, and you didn't even know where they go. So that's very interesting. Oh. So, I mean, yeah. Why, why did you decide first on the painting? Were, were you not worried about that it maybe doesn't fit? Mm, I didn't think about it, to be honest. I didn't think about it. And I, I, I just felt like... Like it's so identify, for example, with the with the dragon which we are seeing like at the background. I was like when I saw it, it was like just like this is me in a in a way, but it's not me because you paint it and you paint it for for something general. But it, in a way, it was just like it was me, and I could see immediately the dragon. Mm -hmm. It was just like I don't know. I it's this is this is meant to be mine. <laughs> so I have to find a way to to finance it and to and to get it, and then the rest is it was just like a secondary, mm. because probably I would stay longer mm. here, but I will go uh, somewhere else and I will take all all my belongings, and these art these two paintings will belong to me or belong now to me, so they will go with me wherever I go. <laughs> Therefore, the, the place was not, not the most important because the things that belong to me will come with me wherever I go. That was more, yeah, my my thinking um, or not thinking about the place. Yeah, <laughs> basically. 
Okay, cool. When did you first hear about me and my art? I heard it actually uh, through the through the group from Ahima. So you were actually introducing yourself as an artist, and you showed with a lot of uh, of um, proud what you have done in the beginning. And I remember in the beginning everything was like blue, 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 blue. <laughs> and I really liked it. I thought it was really like a, a, a very uh, like a very original way of showing what you have inside and the technique you use because you showed in some videos how you do some of the of the paintings it was also very interesting because it's very it's a lot of of love of heart but it's also physically and and emotionally so you i think you put in every everything you do you create you put a lot of yourself and mm. uh, and this is what found when you to present yourself as an artist and and how you were starting mm, nice nice and how long was this ago was this like three years or was this even before wow i don't i don't i don't remember exactly but it could be about two years a little bit more than two years where mm -hmm. when i when i first your your paintings yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That makes sense. Okay, cool, cool. Um, when you think back and like when you saw my art first till till now, like did your interest for art change? I mean, did, maybe you liked back then blue, but maybe your interest changed to red colors or yeah, how, how did your relationship change to art over this period of time, let's say in two years? Yeah. It's it's actually very particular because the first uh, the first creations I saw from you were blue, and for me blue is a color which is very lovely. It's very nice. I love to see blue, but also represents for me a, a kind of no nostalgia, um, melancholy, sadness, melancholy. Yeah. For for me, not not specifically sadness because melancholy would be. Could be only just missing someone, mm. but without being hurt. Just this, mm. you know, that this of one aroma and you remember about something or you remember about someone. This is for me blue. Mm. And when I saw your paintings, I was in a blue stage, mm. so to say. So I felt very related, but I was not, I didn't dare even to ask about the paintings because I was not used to 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 offer myself any kind of gift, which was not uh, like basically needs, you know, like a food, a car to move, or I don't know, like really basically things. So it was it was like okay, I, I didn't even think about it. But then you came with with an, another like a something different, and you start to 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 play with the colors. And then it was not only blue, then I was a little bit pink there, and then it was a green, and then it was the red, like, uh, like coming really like full power, full uh, passion, <laughs> I don't know. It was like, it, it was so funny because it was also like kind of, I, I or you, your art, I don't know, but we were following this path, this process which I am leaving myself for my personal growth. So this change of colors was also matching to the change mm -hmm. of my self process. Mm -hmm. And uh, I found it like, okay, now this is, for me, it was really like a message, like, okay, this is, this is something related and uh, you should have some of these in your place. <laughs> cool. That, that's so cool. So is, is this the reason you then decided to... To get one, so basically that you saw it somehow related to your personal life, like the colors and and the changes that I made in my in my art related to to your life, and then you decided to that you really need one of them, or even two. I mean, you got two. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It was so much matching to my to my own experience, 
and and then it was just like when I see the dragon, it was like, come on, I have I have to have this in my room, I have to have this in my room, and then I start looking again, and I was actually also like looking for a long time ago. I was looking for a tree, mm. and and I was in contact with someone that could paint a tree for me, but it was not really done. I was not really sure. I was not really sure about it, and then. Looking at the dragon, I started to look a little bit more of what you have, and I found the tree. <laughs> yeah, so it was just like, okay, this this is not a coincidence. This is something that it that it's meant to be, and I, I and I have to find a way how to get this one. Mm, amazing. The green is is light. So for me, it's really at the outside and at, at my small living room, and and dragon for me is really like all the intimacy, the passion, the feelings, which sometimes I live by my own alone, and I I, I really enjoy uh, having this like uh, entering to my bedroom and just looking at this red dragon. It's like like welcoming, like saying like, yeah, come, it's time. It's time to enjoy, to to bring all these feelings out for you. Or if you have company, it's, it's it doesn't matter. It's about bringing all out. Yeah. Mm, beautiful. Cool. Yeah. Do, do, do you have any like favorite styles? I mean, my styles are obviously abstract. Do you have any preferences or yeah, what's your feeling there? Yeah, I love I love the art which reflects the reality. Like, a, I don't know, like a sightseeing of a park, of a mountain. For sure, this is very nice or kind of a portrait from picture. It shows a, 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 like a picture of someone. That's nice, but I really love when, when you can see more in a in a, in a picture like like this painting. I, I had a, a long discussion with my daughter. What was how was the right way to paint it? Because she saw completely something different, and she saw it from the from the upside down, and she saw something different. Mm -hmm. And she told me it's flexible because when I come, probably I would like to turn it. <laughs> you know. So for her, it represents something completely different, but she loves it. She really likes it, and that's that's the interesting part from from abstract art, like like the one you do, because for me it represents my process, my passion, my feelings. For my daughter, it represents something else, and also with the tree, it could be like someone would say, okay, for me this tree represents I don't know. For me, it's really like go live, like be fresh and just, uh, yeah, like live, live your life the way you want to, to, to live it. It's just green, light. <laughs> cool. That, that, I mean, that's why I love abstract art as well, because as you say, everybody sees something different. It's very, I mean, if you paint a portrait, you see a face, right? And you probably, everybody sees something similar. I would guess. <laughs> and with abstract art, it's just like your imagination can go wild and you can, you, you can, yeah, it reflects some, some parts in you. Like it reflects your life. It reflects your feelings. It maybe reflects dreams or whatever it is. It's just like, it's very kind of mystical and very, you can see so much. So it's, it's fascinating, very fascinating for me. So I'm agree with you there. <laughs> cool. Yeah, and these are the, the, a very good word. This is mystical. Yeah, and also, yeah, it's it changes. Maybe in ten years, when I see this picture, will bring in me something else. Who knows? But I'm sure I will still have it. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I had also an, in, I mean, I, I had that now many times people really say, yeah, art is really something you take with you. It's something you have forever. It's something you can even pass on on your children. 
It's really something, yeah, that you can keep. It's yours. It's not just like a piece of clothes that you wear a few times and then you throw away. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah this painting go with me wherever I go. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Um, if you like look back when you actually made the decision, because I mean, probably now you have them hanging there. Um, you, you made the decision, you know, we, we, everything went kind of smooth, but in the moment when you saw the painting, it was not yours yet, but you knew you wanted it. How was the process for you of getting this painting? You mean my process for making the decision as such? Yes, the process of making the decision and as well, like, how did this decision feel like? Like, was, was it a hard decision? Was it easy? Um, were, were you nervous? Were you unsure? Or you were super clear? And yeah, how, how was this process? Yeah. I, I was just super excited. I was really very excited. And when I am excited, I, I tend to do the things very quick. So it was like, I, I saw these pictures and I saw them again and make a zoom, you know, like, a, okay, yeah, yeah, I like it, I like it. And then I contact you because for me it was like, a, I have to have them. But it was not something I think like twice. It just came. And I knew I am excited and I have to do it. And I just did it. <laughs> cool. So you didn't base, you didn't worry about, you know, how, can I afford that? How can I afford that? You're just like, I want it. I know I need it. And, and you made it happen. Yeah, kind of. Of course, I know. I know how much I can afford. I, I know how much I can go. This is something that I, I know. Um, I will not just go and buy, I don't know, whatever. I cannot pay, right? But it was more the feeling of, yeah, this is like something so special and I will buy it for me <laughs> because I want it. Because I, just because that, because I want it. I don't need it. I want it. <laughs> That's really very special for me because I think it's the first time I do something like this. Like, okay, I get it because I want it. I don't care what you think. I want it and I, I will go for it. <laughs> <laughs> and was anybody else in the decision involved or was it just you? No, just me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I show it to my son. I think I show the pictures of the two paintings to my son just to, just, just, you know, like just talking. But uh, I, I mean, the decision was mine. I was not, not really sharing with anyone <laughs> in, this, in this case, yeah. No, it was for me. It was for my home, so I, I should not ask anyone. True, true. I mean, it, yeah, it, it's, it's something for you. It's something special for you. And I mean, in the end, it's, it's your decision. Yeah, it was more like that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So... Um, I'm, I'm still curious, like, before you met me, were you already interested in art? Or, like, I mean, really, like, um, were you ever thinking of owning art? Like, yeah, ha having an art collection or some pieces in your art collection? Mm -hmm. No, not at all. It was not in my, let's say, in, in the things I allow myself to do or to have. Interest, yes, always. So going to museums, going to expositions. Personally, I have a, a couple of friends which are either doing a sculptures or, or paintings or photography. So I also share many times with them what they do. But I was not really into... It was just not possible for me. Like, I don't even think about it. Because I always, like, I think, oh, yeah, art is expensive. I should not. I should not. You know? Like, I should not do this, just buy something because I, I like it or because I want it. it. I was very much in this in this kind of mindset. Like, uh, no, if you don't need it, you should not get it, you know? Uh, if it's not coming from a, from a need of, uh, like, uh, having food or, or clothes, then you should you should be careful. I was more in this uh, in this mindset. 
Mm-hmm. And I don't know what happened, what made made me change in this case, that I just went crazy. It was like, oh, yeah, 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 I want, I want, I want. And I started writing to you. It was, I cannot really explain you what happened. Why? Why this time? Why this time I even consider, and at the end I bought it, I bought uh, two of them, um, why it happened this way. I cannot, I cannot really tell you. I relate this to my own process and my own development that now I, I see things very much different and I see that I also can afford and can give me some nice things to myself without uh, feeling, uh, I don't know, guilty of spending money in art. I mean, this makes me happy every time I see it. So if I come home five times in the day, back and forward, I will always smile when I come home because it feels nice. And it feels like, yeah, this is my place. I like to be here. I like to see at the sofa, the living room and see my tree. I want to come to my bed, you know, and uh, turn the, 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 this night light uh, and, and have this in the background when I go to sleep. So exactly, I don't know what happened, but something changed and I made a switch and I'm happy. I'm happy I I did it. Amazing. Cool. Thank you so much for sharing. And did something change in the way you saw it? I mean, when you bought it? Yeah, let's say you, you saw it first and you saw something specific. Till now, did something change? in the way you, you saw those two paintings? Yeah, I think when I when I picked them up, it was already like, wow, they are more beautiful than I, than I thought because on the, on the picture, you cannot really see everything. And I didn't even, in the picture, I, I was not even aware that it has some, te- some texture. It's not, it's not just painting, right? I was like already impressed, like, oh, wow, this is more than I expected. But to be honest, the, the highlight, really like the, the, the biggest highlight was hanging them on the wall. That was really like, wow. When I, when I finally get some uh, help to hang them on the wall and I thought it was like, oh my God, yes, I did it. I did the right decision. I did the right decision. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And do you have any, like, favorites, favorite things of the painting? Yeah, in this case, for example, is like the texture, it gives also some depth. Mm-hmm. So, it, it uh, how to say, you can basically go inside the picture. The, it's like kind of feeling if you stare, stay and stare at it, you will have the feeling that you go inside the mouth of the dragon or the nose. I'm not sure if it's the mouth or the nose. <laughs> but I have this feeling like like you can really like, if you could really go and look like if it would be a window. I think this is something special in this one. And in the tree, it's more like, it's like, like up. Like it's like, like a, I don't know, it's like uh, putting you up <laughs> emotionally or even physically, it feels like, oh, okay. I don't know exactly the word, how to describe it, mm. but it, it, it brings things up. Like, it brings my mood up, <laughs> so to say. I see, it's also like the, the tree, it goes like up the... the... Like, how yeah. do you say the, not, not the leaves, but it's like the, the energy of the tree goes up. It's uplifting. Yes. <laughs> yes. And this is also the feeling that gives to me when I see it. It's uplifting. Mm. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. And so you said, like, you didn't expect, you saw it first on a photo, right? Mm-hmm. And um, so that's also a, a funny thing. Because some people, they need to see it in life. But I find on a photo, you see quite well how it looks. 
But the cool thing is that when you see it live, you have some surprises, right? Some things that you cannot see on a picture, like the texture. And was there anything else that you didn't see in the picture, like on the photo, on the phone or computer, but then you saw it in live? Yeah, I, I think it's also about this feeling the, in the tree, this uplifting feeling, or in this one, the, the depth going deeper. Mm -hmm. I think this is something you cannot really appreciate in a, in a picture, unless you have really like a professional, I don't know, maybe it's possible with a very special camera, I don't know. But just like, like this, you don't, you don't really appreciate uh, as much as, as in life. Mm -hmm. And I think it's also a good technique to sell it like this because then I bet that 100% of the time the people have a, a nice surprise when they see it real. Mm. So did, did you buy it online? Like did you buy it when you saw it as a photo or did you buy it when you saw it live? No, I, I, I made a decision with a picture on the phone and and then I bought it, and then I pick it up. <laughs> That's amazing. So, so you... Paintings. My first paintings I ever bought in my life, uh, I bought it like this. Yeah. Amazing. So, so why did you do that? I mean, did you trust me as an artist, or did you like just like the picture so much? Yeah. It's both. Because I know you, and I trust you, and I, I, I know... A little bit of the background when you started and the technique and all this and all this passion you put in every everything you create. So I think it's both both uh, that I like it, I love it, I, I really fell in love with both of the of the paintings. And then it was more that, yeah, of course it's uh, it's you and it's more this kind of connection that we have make the process much more simple. That's for sure. That helped a lot. Mm, like okay. no artist, so to say. Mm -hmm. So you probably <laughs> wouldn't have bought a painting on on the photo, like just seeing on a, on the photo, if you would not know the artist, or or it depends. I, no, I think I would I would have not done it so quick. Like I would have not decided so quick just to to give away money, if it, if I would have not known the person. I think it's much easier. Um, when yeah, when there is some some uh, yeah connection with a with a person, but it's not always possible, right? It's, uh, this time, well, I was lucky that I I could I could meet like I know the artist, and it was much easier. Yes, absolutely. Cool. So we talked now a lot about I mean yeah the reasons why you bought it. It it was like you felt connected to the painting basically. Um, so you, it, it was like, and, and you got basically signs and you wanted to do something good for yourself. Um, is there any other reason that you didn't mention why you bought those two paintings? I, I think it was um, more the way I was feeling in that time when I made a decision to buy, to buy these paintings. I was kind of uh, emotionally having a, a need of holding on something and um, and I think this this was one of the things that I did which made me feel more solid on 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 planet earth to say okay I belong here and I can hold on this in this in this case in this uh, on these arts on these paintings and uh, this is the first step I do to make my new home. Mm. So that was the first step. Like saying, okay, now it's time. I will have a new home, a new place for myself. And this is how I start. I see. Did you have already, like, did you buy already furniture? Or were you thinking about the furniture? Or no? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing really. This was the first. This was the first thing I had. So it was like, okay, I I am moving. <laughs> this is what I have. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Besides my clothes and my shoes, I think uh, that was the that was the thing that uh, 
that made me made a, made the made the first step to move to move on. Mm, amazing. And how do you feel now with the paintings? I just super satisfied. Like really, every time I, because my my it's like the studio apartment is very very small, so I just open the door from the entry and then I see the tree, and it's like ah oh, cool. <laughs> And then when I go to my bedroom, it's really like uh, inviting now. It's time to relax and to enjoy. So mm. I really, I, I enjoy them every time I, I, am, I am here. Yeah. Amazing. And Amazing. by the way, many, many visitors at the moment uh, due to the circumstances, of course. But the people that has come, they are always like, oh, wow. And yeah asking about who where and uh, you know did you do yourself no of course not <laughs> you know i also uh, showed a picture in facebook and then some girlfriend from school time in mexico you know she was like oh please you have to bring me some of these <laughs> and <laughs> so already have like nice compliments which also makes me feel more more happy and more proud of uh, having uh, done the decision to buy those. Cool, cool. Yeah, that was actually, you answered my other question. I just wanted to ask you if other people came. So that, that's, so, that's so cool. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Everyone, everyone that has been here or has, been, has seen the pictures in, in, in Facebook, they recognize that they are nice, that they are very, very nice. And they always ask who has done it. And uh, I, I explained that you only in Switzerland, and uh, yeah, it's uh, always a nice compliment. Cool, cool. And w one question also about the size. When you saw it on the photo, I mean, I wrote, I always write the size, or always tell it, right? But did, did you expect this size, or was it smaller or bigger than you thought? Uh, it, it was much bigger than I thought. Both. Both, they were much bigger than I thought. Yeah, really, that was also a nice surprise because it was like, a, okay. <laughs> yeah, even to put them in the car, it was like, okay, I have to find the right way not to damage them. And uh, yeah, also to keep them, uh, when I came, I could not hang, hang them uh, on the wall like immediately. So always, you know, like looking where to put them that I don't damage. Yeah, but you are right. You wrote it on the, on the, on the picture. But to be honest, um, I have no clue, like, uh, how much is this or how much is this, you know? It was like, a, uh, yeah, whatever. So, so <laughs> for you, you also would have bought it if it's smaller, but for you, it was, yeah. It was much smaller. First of all, I never imagined that it was two pieces, you know? To put the dragon together, you have two pieces. Also, the tree is two pieces. So this I didn't see in the picture. I didn't see. Mm. So yeah. mm. I, I think that's probably good because I mean it's easier to put it in the car in instead of it's one piece. And, and the cool thing no. is, yeah, yeah, that and was that, great. It, just to have it in two pieces. Exactly, and the cool thing is also now you put it together, right? But but you can also put it a little bit apart so it has like. A, a, a fine space between. So I think that that's all you also where you can play. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Very challenging hanging because you have to measure really well. <laughs> yeah, and then just to you know like mm, now it's good, but uh, otherwise it was really nice to see that they were big, that they were two pieces, and that they were beautiful, and it has texture, and yeah, it was just really amazing the day I picked them up. Mm, nice, nice. So in the let's say when we break all together what you what we just discussed and what you shared with us, yeah in the end, why did you decide to buy a an original Hoyas painting? Because I love it. Because I saw it and I, I just loved it. Both of them. Both, yeah. Cool. I don't, I, I don't have more complex answer. It's just like I saw it and I, I just love it. I feel connected. I feel like 
like uh, this is this is this is something I want to have with me, like close to me, and mm-hmm. that was it. Yeah, not not special like complicated thing. No, mm-hmm. it was really just. I saw it. I felt in love, and then it was like, okay, how can I do? How can I make it happen? How? But I knew already that I want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Amazing. So now it just comes into my mind. I think some people, they think they need to understand art or they need to be an expert in, in order to appreciate art. So w- what would you say about yourself? Um, are you an expert about art or? Not at all. Not at all. I don't, I don't know if I understand art, but I think art is not to be understood. Art is something you feel. It's something... Yeah, it's something you feel. It's nothing to be understood. Because it's like if you would you would need to, to get to know really, really well the artist to understand a little bit what he means on each piece of art. And I think this is something that, that any one of us can afford. Like even I would need to know you like for years and to talk to you and to be there when you did the painting. To understand, therefore, I don't try to understand. It's something that that I feel. Also, if I go to a museum, I have the same. I mean, if there is someone who can explain, then of course I listen and I learn. But otherwise, it's just more if I like it or not, if I feel something when I see it or not, if I have some connection or not. But I am not at all, not at all an expert not not at all Hmm. yeah great great thank you for sharing i think that's very valuable for many people for everybody that thinks you you need to be an expert you need to understand are they probably i think they will feel relieved so we we really all can enjoy art and we don't need to understand it with our mind but we we can look at it and we can observe and feel what's happening in us and you know how how we connect to it basically, and what we see, right? It's more, it's more a play with uh, with uh, with art, especially abstract. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Mm. And would you recommend my art to other art collectors? Absolutely, absolutely. I already, <laughs> whenever it's possible, and when whenever someone comes and says, "Ah, nice, nice," yeah, of course, you know. <laughs> I would do it, absolutely, no mm. doubt. Amazing, and, and why would you do it? Because it's just satisfying, it's so, much, it's, it's so much satisfying, you know? You don't even think about how much you pay, it's just like, it's, it's so satisfying. I can buy something smaller, cheaper, that will give me no satisfaction, or maybe one day, and then I forget about it. These ones, I see them every day. And it gives me every time like a little, mm, you know, a smile when I come home. Yeah. So, yeah. Amazing, amazing. And what would you say, what kind of art collector would be interested in my art? Or who, to which kind of art collector would you recommend my art? Yeah, I am um, specifically, I, I cannot tell you at the moment. But I would say, like, um, you need, your question is more which kind of, right? Yeah, what, what, do, what, does, what are those for people? What do they like? Um, what are the, their interests? And, yeah. I think it would be people that really like to see the person and not the piece of instruments or the piece of uh, material to make a painting. It, it needs to be uh, an artist that, that has fe- like a lot of feelings because otherwise it, it's, it's, it's difficult to make this connection. And maybe you will only see like a couple of paint around without like making any con- connection to it. So it has to be like someone that really can see people that can see the feelings of the people 
and that can can and that it's a, like a free a freestyle, of course, and uh, and dynamic, I would say. Mm, I see. I see. So somebody who somehow like connects as well to feelings, like has a connection to their feelings. Because it, it is a, a lot about emotions and feelings, my art, right? It, it's, yeah, as you say, like a, a free expression and it's very dynamic. And, and, and then so people that are basically like um, connected to their feelings and, and can you know, like connect their feelings to the painting and can kind of feel what, what's going on when they see, look at the piece of art. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that makes sense. That makes sense. So if somebody is now on the fence, that means he is like looking at some art pieces, but he doesn't really know, should I buy it? Should I not? Is it worth it? He basically has doubts. He or she has doubts. And what would you advise them? Why they need to take action right now? Mm -hmm. I, would, I would say that um, buying art is something that you have to feel. Um, you have to feel that the, you are not giving money away. It's just you are getting art into your place. So it's not about how much I give away. Of course, you have to have enough to pay, but it's not about giving away. It's more what you can get for you. And if, if this person is having a lot of doubts, maybe it's because of money or maybe it's because of uh, needs a reaffirmation from someone. Maybe just to have a, a short sharing, like asking at the best friend or the husband or I don't know, what do you think? Maybe they just need this, this a little bit, mm, you know, like, yeah, don't worry. It's it's uh, it's worthy. It's satisfying. Don't think too much. Um, I would, if I would have a person like this, like beside me, I would I would tell it. I would I would say, don't think too much. What do you feel? Does it feel good? Then there is no no more to say. Or mm -hmm. so cool, amazing. So it's basically. Like, first of all, of course, you need to be able to afford it. But if you can, and if it, I mean, yeah, if you can afford it and you feel it feels good to you, don't think too much, go for it. It's basically, yeah, it's basically yours. You know, it's, it's something good. Go for it. Basically, you would just make it simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I see. Yeah. And I think. Mm -hmm. Like art, like to to contemplate art and to buy art. Most of the people are really like people that have a lot of connection with themselves, and a lot of uh, and they they don't shame to 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 show their feelings. There are many others that do it only for showing up, that for sure. But I think most of the people that uh, appreciate art. There are people that that are very connected to themselves. Nice, 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 amazing. And so, Graciela, what would you say is your number one, number one advice for future and current art collectors? From my side, I would just say like I would just say like keep on doing it and, and show it to the world, please, because then we let we get to know you. Just. Uh, just continue and uh, and show it. No. Don't ha don't keep it to you. Don't keep it to yourself. I mean, I mean now art collectors. So that means like people who like you. You are an art collector now. You have two pieces, so you are collecting art basically. So if somebody is thinking about becoming an art collector, or he is already an okay. art collector, what is the advice you would tell to them? Yeah, um, the advice from my side. Wow, that's a. Uh, I I feel like I I I don't dare to to give an advice, but I would say enjoy it, enjoy every piece. If you have one or hundred, enjoy it. Don't don't just buy it and put it somewhere, you know, and just leave it there to 
spill of dust or I don't know. If you have art, it's to to enjoy it, to to live it, to have a look, you know, to appreciate it. And um, and uh, if you can get more, just get more because that will be also satisfying. <laughs> cool, cool, amazing. That's so cool. So Graciela, thank you so much. We're coming to an end. Uh, just for everybody who is watching that, and they maybe want to reach out to you and know, get to know you better, maybe know more about your story, maybe even want to see the paintings in life or whatever, want to connect to you. Where can they find out more about you? Where can connect they? When, yeah, where can they connect to you? Yeah, well, um, I think the, the easiest way is via Facebook or Messenger. So uh, my name is Graciela Guerrero Altamirano. This is how you find me in Facebook. Um, otherwise, I'm also in the, in the LinkedIn with the same name. Uh, this is the, the I think the easiest way to connect with me, or ju just to just to you know write me an email and uh, and I'm uh, really open. I'm super proud of these paintings. So if someone wants to come and see them in life, I mean, very welcome. My my home is always open for, for nice people. Amazing, amazing. So cool. And again, you're living in Zurich, Switzerland. Zurich, yes, exactly. Great, great. And also your name. Um, I will put it into the, the interview. When, if you see that, if you see that on, on Facebook, everyone, uh, the link will be, I will, I will tag you basically so they can find you easily. Super. Yeah, super. Good. That, that's, that's it. Thank you so much, Graciela. It has been amazing talking to you and to know more, get to know more about you and why you bought the art. It's, it's always like super fascinating why, you know, the, the, the reasons, the motivation behind like collecting art and, and getting something really, really special for yourself. And it definitely has been inspiring for me and probably for everyone else that is watching. So thank you so much, Graciela. Thanks to you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the chance to speak. Of course, my pleasure. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye, Graciela. Ah, thank you. Have a good evening. You too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>